Hey guys, it's Luke, and welcome to the Royal Adelaide Show, which for my American friends is basically South Australia's state fair. And I thought it was noisy vlogging in theme parks. This is just noise, noise everywhere. So let's see how we go. When you get to the showgrounds, if you come in through the main entrance, the first thing that you're greeted with is the good old Ferris wheel, which looks like it's had a fair few updates in its time. Now, the show is prepaid only, so you need to purchase your tickets online. And one of the first things I also did was prepay for my carnival rides. So I paid $80 and that gave me $100 worth of coupons. Last time I was at the show, I was here with Marcus and I shared my ride vouchers with him. Uh, today he has to be in the city to do a theatre show, so it's just me solo for this vlog today, but as always, my first stop of every royal show. That's right, it's time for the dog vlog. I just realised that I left my normal glasses back in the car. Um, so I'm gonna look like a douche for a bit. So I do apologize for wearing my sunglasses inside. I promise it's not usually me. Well, even though there is a show going on in the next pavilion, there is definitely a lot less dogs here at this show than what there was two years ago. Dog vlog. Dog vlog. Me are not a me. Kind of sad, kind of sad to see. But let's have a look at the dogs that are here. Take three. I know we get, I know we get kicked out. Yeah, dogs are crazy. Oh, you are gorgeous. Addy. Hi. Adele. <laughs> Still learning that trick. That's all good. Adele. Stop it. Oh, no. I love how all the New Finlands are uh, wearing bibs because they are serial jewelers. It's just too cute, too cute. All right, let's go have a look at the dog judging arena. Dog 60% masculine, 40% bulldog. They wanted to create a dog that was powerful enough to knock down and hold a culture. The bull mastiff is a very sweet dog, very loving dog, and does like to be with their family. They can be a very devoted dog to their family. That was a little disappointing. I thought there'd be actually more dogs here to be judged on the first day, but apparently not. Um, and unfortunately, it's the only day that I can come to the show, so I'm missing out on doggies. <sighs> Sad. And I'm going to be responsible and do a trigger warning here because we are going to have a look at some snakes and reptiles for a quick moment here. Ooh, gorgeous red belly black snake. Some pythons here up in the tree. And there we got a blue tongue lizard. And a dragon. Oh, thank goodness. Someone was asking for the... And another the... blue tongue there as well. And again, the whippet is another dog that does like to be... Oh, he likes to be a little bit Wow, like docile as... Likes to be where you are. Perfect, thank you very much. You're very well. So you said before you prefer handling red bellies? Much, much, much prefer handling red bellies. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for that, it's gorgeous. And it looks like here we have some rabbit judging going on. I wonder if they had an incident some time ago where they had to build this kind of structure. It's got the nice fine netting here. Which is why some of the footage looks a little odd, especially when you 
zoom through the through the netting. That's a big bunny. You've been hanging around rabbits too long. All right, just for you, Marcus. Having a look at the cats here. And then, of course, cute little kitty cat in its little tent there. Oh, look at that. Two kitty cats in there. Oh, they like each other. Meow, 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 meow. Looks like a little tiger. And there we go. So that was the pet pavilion. <sighs> kind of disappointing. Not many doggos, but they had really cool snakes, really cool bunnies, and a couple of cute kittens. All right, so next stop. I usually like to get this over and done with earlier in the day so that later on, at a more convenient time, I can do the dance of my people. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Of That's right, it's time for the dairy food hall. And in we go. Speaking of the dance of my people, well done to the Fluo Milk Company for getting the gold medal for their lactose free chocolate milk. You did it! Congratulations! Great job, everybody! It's great to meet you. For you. Hi. I'm yet to try it, but now I know it's gold medal winning. I'm, I'm definitely going to look out for it in the future. Mm. Buddy, mm. you don't have to drink that. Thank you. One of the best snack bargains here at the show is the real cheese toasty for tree fitted. Three dollars and fifty cents. Tree fitted. I said, I ain't giving you no tree fitty, you Loch Ness monster. Get your own money. I gave him a dollar. She gives him a dollar. I thought he'd go away if I gave him a dollar. Well, of course it's not gonna go away, Nelly. You give him a dollar, he's gonna assume you got more. Usually, my first treat would be a chocolate and banana ice cream, but it appears as though they haven't brought the banana ice cream to the show this year. So instead, I'm going a chocolate and banana thick shake. Yummo! <laughs> All right, let's smash this and do the dance of my people. Also, for my American friends, this is the only drink that outsells Coca-Cola. That's right, iced coffee in South Australia outsells Coca-Cola. And pardon? Only this brand. Yeah, exactly. Only this brand. And in fact, here at the show, the price is surprising. They're even cheaper than if you bought it from Woolies. Look at that. Amazing. And after coming back from America, one of the two of the first things I did, other than getting a brekkie wrap from the airport, is smashing down a classic chocolate milk. Oh, guys. American chocolate and American chocolate milk just just doesn't hit the same. Their hot chocolate is amazing. Yeah, no, just not their cold chocolate milk, so yeah. All right, let's go and see what other animals we can find. Yeah. All I can say right now is just be thankful YouTube hasn't invented scents that come through the computer yet because, well, here we are. Hey, buddy. Look at this cool dude. Hey, buddy. He looks like he belongs at the beach. Are you a beach alpaca? Well, I'll pack up my bags and head to the next pavilion. 
and here we are at the Royal Adelaide Show Wood Cutting Carnival, where the answer to the age-old question, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, is answered. And it seems quite a bit. As down here, it looks like that they're certifying all the wood to be chucked today. That is a lot of wood. Oh, no, 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 not that. Just come on, you guys, let's do it. And down in here, we have the wood that's ready to be recycled. And we're just awaiting the next event, which I believe is the underhand. And that's actually pretty impressive. Even that Victorian guy who finished last, like, I'd be done after two chops. That, that's me. <laughs> Oh, well, let's go back to the car and grab my glasses ah, so that I can do some inside stuff and not look like a douche. The real reason I'm doing it now is because I, my brain was in a bit of a shambles this morning because I slept in and I forgot to put on a belt. Um, so my shorts are keeping on falling down. So I'm hoping to get some glasses to do some inside stuff so that I can find a belt and then wear the belt for the rest of the day. That's the plan. So. Fingers crossed. It's getting kind of annoying having to pull up my pants every 10 seconds. So, back to the car, glasses, and then to the Jubilee Pavilion to have a look at some stalls and find a belt. You accessorize with a sloth? <laughs> I accessorize with a sloth! This is belt! <laughs> glasses. Well, glasses attained. Um, now it's time to find a belt, which is really annoying because um, I have my weights really fluctuated <laughs> over the last 12 months, up, down, up, down, up, down. Mostly in the last six months it's gone up, which means, you know, I've got clothes that fit nicely. I've got clothes that are extremely baggy and then I've got clothes which, you know, don't look very flattering on me at all. Um, <laughs> But I don't want to throw them away just in case, you know? Well, not just in case, but for when I lose the weight and can fit those clothes again. And all the baggy stuff I usually wear at nighttime. Um, but these shorts, man. <laughs> these shorts, my bum is showing again. Sorry, anyone who's walking behind me. All right, back to the show. Let's head into the Jubilee and see what we can see. Oh, this is so much better already being able to see inside. Um, well, let's see if there is any luck in any of these having belts. Nothing popped out to me that said, hey, we sell belts. Um, but we do have the Church of Scientology here today. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Pretty sure that they don't do belts. Um, all right, so let's look around and see what we can see. Bye. 